Next in line is plastic fisher uh, who are addressing the issue of plastic pollutions in rivers, especially in Asia. Turning it over to Carsten. Thank you. I will try to also raise my hand if I want to change the slide. Let's see if that works. Uh, that went pretty smoothly so far. Um, yeah. Hey, everyone. I'm Carsten, CEO and co-founder of Plastic Fisher, and we clean rivers to save oceans. Very nice. Okay. So our mission is to develop efficient and cost-effective plastic collection solutions for rivers around the world. And our vision is to have clean rivers and with this, clean oceans. And we do this because 12 million tons of plastic enter the oceans every year and also end up on our tables in the end through the food chain. And most of this plastic is coming from Asian rivers. This picture was taken uh, two years ago from us in Indonesia. Another problem is that most of the plastic that we find in the rivers is not recyclable and also a reason why it's ending up there. And the collection costs money. We tried to tackle this problem by using low tech. That's the opposite of high tech um, and bringing down the cost of collection. For example, we use this trash boom that is operating in uh, three different countries in Asia now. Here you can see it uh, working one of the most polluted rivers in the world, the Chitorum River in Bandung, Indonesia. Our approach is to manufacture everything locally. Um, with this, we save carbon, we save time and costs. Uh, we can repair everything directly at place. Um, we uh, collect and also uh, sort our waste manually and with this offer and create jobs. We evolve and work closely together with local communities and show alternatives to single-use plastic. Our business model is based on plastic footprint compensation. It's the analogous to carbon, uh, to, to carbon offsetting. So companies that use plastic can finance our operations per ton collected and processed, and the whole operation is audited and verified by a third party. So we collect it from rivers, bring it to sorting facilities, and the recyclables are sold. The non-recyclables are incinerated with energy recovery. Another option is the Plastic Fisher Club. Uh, it just started. Uh, we're implementing it today on our homepage, and we have our first clients already. So um, we uh, give away our logo for companies that pay us a monthly fee and support our operations around the globe. Our team consists mostly of engineers. Um, I have a background in law. My CTO worked in the Navy, but we both decided to change our career path and, and work on the plastic crisis. Uh, George is um, a good friend since fifth grade. He runs an accelerator himself in sustainable aquaculture and knows how to grow and scale um, yeah, startups. So yeah, this is it. I'm really looking forward to meeting uh, industrial partners who want to compensate their plastic footprint, um, for example, or um, have contacts in Asia and can help us accelerate our company. Thank you a lot.